Hey you, I'm celebrity mentor stylist Ashley Weston. So odds are you probably own a pair of dark wash jeans already, but there's also a big chance that you're wearing them all wrong. Dun, dun, dun. So whether you're new to my channel or you've been a longtime subscriber, you're probably aware that I have a burning passion for dark wash jeans. And I feel the time has finally come to discuss what makes them so great and why exactly you, yes, you, need a pair or several for your closet. Putting it simply, I would like to extend to you an invitation to the pants party. Let's go. Now, I know what you're thinking. So let's get it out of the way. But Ashley, didn't you release a video about why I need a pair of chinos? Link in the description below. Only a few months ago? Do I really, really need dark wash jeans as well? Well, the answer to both of those questions is yes. Don't get me wrong, chinos are great, but they just don't have the added X factor that dark wash jeans have. Now, I've been dressing my clients of all ages in them for years, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. But what on earth, you may be asking, does dark wash mean? And what makes it so darn great? Great question. So when we talk about denim, we use the term wash to refer to the specific shade of the fabric. Basically, light wash has a brighter, lighter aesthetic, while dark wash denim has a darker indigo hue. So one of the things that makes this particular shade of denim so great when it comes to jeans is that it hides both skinnier and thicker legs better than any other color, meaning that they look great on guys all body types. Also, did I mention that dark wash jeans are super versatile? Now, whether you're wearing them with a casual sneakers and crew neck tee outfit or a dressier sports coat and dress shoes combo, they seamlessly come complement whatever they're paired with and can work for both casual and smart casual dress codes. And to prove how versatile these babies are, I'll be showing you some examples of how to wear them at the end of this video. So one of the things that puts a lot of guys off about dark wash jeans and jeans in general is that they think they have to go with raw denim, which is considered to be definitely more constrictive and uncomfortable fabric. I can feel it all the way down in my plums. However, a lot of my favorite jeans on the market are actually made from denim that has been blended with other fabrics like spandex and polyester for greater stretch and comfort. In fact, there are even jeans that are crafted from 100% cotton that are super breathable. They look like denim, but it doesn't take months to break them in. Now, just one note, if you do decide to go with a spandex denim blend. So while these are a little more comfortable and forgiving in the thigh area, they do tend to stretch out and lose their shape when compared to like say 100% cotton blend. So this results in an aesthetic that I like to refer to as the poopy pants look, and it's not a good one. So if you wanna check out some of my more preferred brands, the ones that I know will still keep its shape, I've linked them in the description below. Okay, so you've officially decided that you either need to buy your first pair of dark wash jeans or elevate your existing collection. So this brings us to the most important factor in making them look really good, the fit. So in my decade plus of experience as a men's stylist, I've learned a lot about how a pair of jeans should fit. And I've condensed my wealth of knowledge into my holy trinity of jeans fit rules. So these apply to every guy, regardless of your age or body type. So make sure you're taking note. Rule number one. So on the thigh area, you should be able to pinch, I would say like a minimum of one inch, but no more than one and a half inches of fabric on either side of the thigh. Rule number two, your jeans should fit your waist comfortably without the need for a belt. They can even be slightly tight and figure hugging at first as the denim will gradually loosen over time. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Rule number three, the leg of your jeans should neither be too short nor too long and you should always aim to have, I would say like a slight break at the ankle. I see so many guys wearing jeans that make it look like they're swimming swimming in denim below their calf. And if yours are too long, then just get that, them hemmed by a tailor. It's a small and inexpensive style move that really makes a huge difference to the overall look. So now that we've got the fit fundamentals out of the way, it's time to discuss which specific cut of jeans you should be going for. So in case you didn't know, the cut of your jeans basically refers to their specific shape. And there are a number of cuts to choose from depending on your specific body type. So going in order of slimness, the the most common cuts are skinny, slim, straight, boot cut, and relaxed. But which one should you go for? Well, 
I'm so glad you asked. So if you have a slim to regular build, then you always, always, always want to go for a slim fit jean. Now, a lot of my clients think that this particular cut will make them look too skinny, when in reality, a roomier fit would actually create a much bigger silhouette and ultimately make them look skinnier than they actually are. Now, skinny jeans are gonna be skin tight, while slim fit jeans naturally complement slim to regular build, but make sure to always avoid straight fit jeans. These are gonna be really loose in the leg area, and this particular cut can be super unflattering, particularly on slimmer guys. However, if you're one of my bigger guys out there, then the classic straight leg is the perfect fit for you. The key to looking good, if you have a larger frame, is balancing out your proportions to ensure that your bottom half complements your top half. And the straight leg jean helps you to easily achieve this balance. Now, you just wanna make sure that you avoid any cut that has a taper at the legs, as this will result in a top heavy, kind of like Humpty Dumpty-esque appearance. In fact, you should probably apply this rule when it comes to all of your pants, not just your jeans. But what if you're one of those athletic guys with a more muscular bottom half? Well, if you happen to have bigger glutes, thighs, and or calves, as well as a broader top half, then you really want your jeans to effectively balance out your proportions. So we really don't wanna want anything that's too tight, as this will look unflattering on your muscular body type. So here's how exactly to nail the fit. First of all, if you have all three, meaning you got glutes, thighs, and calves, then you wanna stick with a straight fit jean, as these will have the required room throughout the leg. However, if you just have muscular glutes and or thighs, then an athletic fit or straight taper fit is the cut for you. The reason why is that it will taper from the knee to the ankle, just the right amount to keep your bottom half looking proportional to your upper half. So now that you've picked the right jean cut for your body type, let's talk a little bit about what shoes you can wear with them. So the good news is that dark wash jeans have a super versatile look that will work with the majority of the casual and smart casual shoes you have in your collection. So I'm talking sneakers, lace up boots, chukka boots, espadrilles, and loafers of all varieties. However, I would probably recommend avoiding certain colors that may clash with the dark aesthetic of the jeans. So that's gonna be like lighter browns, tans, maybe even navy. But dress shoes can work. I just normally would recommend pairing these with a dressier pant though, like wool trousers or suit pants. Also remember that the length of the pants should leave, you know, should be like a slight break when they meet your shoes. Anything shorter will look odd and anything longer will bunch at your ankles and just throw off your proportions. And as promised, here are a few outfit ideas for how you can rock your new favorite pair of pantaloons. First up, we have a super casual outfit that couldn't be easier to throw together. Here we have a dark crew neck sweater paired with some chocolate chukka boots and of course, a pair of stylish dark wash jeans. So this type of outfit is perfect for fall or winter, somewhere that's not too cold. And I just love the little pop of white courtesy of the white crew neck t-shirt worn under the sweater. You'll also notice that rather than hemming the leg of the pants, we've rolled it up or cuffed it to effectively show off the chukka. And if you want to know the best way to do this, I made a video on it actually. So I'll link that down in the description. Next up, we have an outfit that I've specifically chosen to answer the question, can I wear a denim trucker jacket with dark wash jeans? Now, as you can see here, the answer is an obvious Yes, provided that you go for a trucker jacket in a much lighter shade. What you choose to wear underneath is up to you. Here, we're going for a dark flannel shirt, but you could always go for a crew neck sweater or a nice Oxford for a dressier look. Also, that hem roll to show off the lace up boots is a move that just exudes rugged and manly style. And finally, we have a smart casual outfit featuring a textured sports coat layered over a light Oxford shirt with some dark brown dress shoes worn down below. So what I love about this look is its sheer simplicity. Everything fits right, and in terms of shading, it is the perfect mix of both darker and lighter pieces. As you can see here, our dark wash jeans really provide the bedrock for the rest of the outfit and can have a dressier aesthetic when paired with the right item. Also, bonus points as always for the little details like the expert cuff rolling and the matching leathers on the belt and shoes. Simple, sexy, stylish. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next one.